So if you have a modern BMW, you most likely have ASD, which stands for Active Sound Design. Now, whether you find it inorganic and unauthentic and you want to turn it off, or you just find it makes the cabin more loud and you want to be able to focus on your music, whatever it is, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn it off. What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn off ASD. Now, really quickly, if you don't know what ASD is, it's basically BMW kind of pumps up or amplifies the sound of the engine through the speakers in the cabin of the car. They do that so when you're driving the car, you can hear the engine louder in the cabin, and so the car sounds a little more sporty and a little louder, but I know a lot of people don't like it. I personally don't like it. Uh, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to turn it off. Now, something I wanna clarify really quickly. When I say a modern BMW, it's most likely like 2018 and up. So for example, this BMW X3 M40 is a 2018. It does have ASD. It is a more like sport oriented BMW, so it does have it. Whereas my BMW 435, although it's more sport oriented as well it's from 2015 so it doesn't even have asd i don't even know if it was a thing but bmw really wasn't putting in their cars back then anyways even if it was a thing so if you're wondering if your car has it uh maybe just give it a quick google i can't say for every single car again most likely if your car is newer it probably has it but um just google it and i'm sure you can find it but with that said let me show you guys how to actually turn it off so unfortunately this isn't something you just go into the menu on your bmw and just switch it from like on to off uh, it's something you actually have to buy separately so you're gonna need two things one is a beamer link app which you can just download off the app store if you already have beamer code you can do it through there as well but if you're trying to do this just for the asd i suggest beamer link because beamer link is a lot more user friendly it's a lot easier to understand and it's a lot quicker so to get beamer link you just want to go to your app store or your play store whatever it is and uh, just search for beamer link it should come up pretty quickly you do have to pay for the full functionality for this app i believe it's only just like a one-time fee of about 30 or maybe 35 dollars it's not too bad and you can use it on multiple cars so if you have more than one car you can use this on all of them so the beamer link app is what's going to allow you to actually turn off the asd now to actually connect the app to your car you need an obd adapter and that's this over here what this basically does is connect to the obd port in your car and this thing actually has bluetooth so this will connect to your phone basically kind of creating like a connection from your phone uh, and the beamer link app to your car these things are pretty inexpensive they're only about like 30 bucks i think overall they're just good to have uh they're good to like read uh you know check engine lights all that type of stuff so if you guys don't have one already uh, definitely go pick one up i'll leave a link down in the description below to amazon so once you have those two things the beamer link app as well as the obd adapter you have everything that you need and we can actually start turning asd off so before i actually get into it i just want to say really quickly uh towards the end of the video i'll do like a comparison of before and after so you guys can see how much of a difference it actually makes so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to check that out if you care to hear it but for now let me jump into showing you guys how to actually do it. so one of the first things we want to do is actually connect this obd adapter so if you guys didn't know already the obd port on your car is is by the driver's side underneath over here so let me see if i can show you so you guys can kind of see it in the center of the screen right there so i'm gonna go ahead and plug in my obd adapter so if you guys buy the same one that i'm using you'll actually notice once you plug it in this blue light comes on and that's basically just telling you that it's connected and you're good to go so the next thing you want to do after connecting your obd adapter is just put the car into accessory mode so if you don't know what that is it's basically just pressing on the start button uh, without your foot on the brake and i always recommend while working on a car in accessory mode turning off your heat or ac if it's already on and then switching your lights from on or automatic to just off also this one's pretty obvious but just make sure the bluetooth on your phone is on because obviously we're going to be using bluetooth to connect the phone and beamer link to the obd adapter and hence the car so once you've done all of that and assuming you've already downloaded the beamer link app in the beginning we actually want to open up the app so let's do that so this is super quick and easy so basically you just want to launch the app wherever you have it then you want to press on connect it should detect your obd adapter pretty quickly but if it doesn't just select it uh mine already did so i'm pretty much good to go it shouldn't take too long to load and then once the screen actually does load up you'll see on the left over there asd now this is going to show up for every car if your car does not have asd and you press on it it'll actually say functionality not available but since this car of course has it once i press on it you'll actually see like a big toggle switch literally can't get any easier on or off it's currently on on mine of course i'm just going to switch it to off then you just want to press on back at the top left over there and then press on disconnect at the bottom and that's honestly it so once you disconnect you can remove your obd adapter and you're pretty much good to go so like i said in the beginning of the video now that i've done it i want to show you guys like a before and after i'll toggle it on and off so you guys can hear like with it on and with it off of course i'll do some clips while driving and then also while the car is in neutral and yeah we'll see how much of a difference it really makes so uh let's just get into that right now
right, so hopefully you guys are able to tell a difference. Hopefully the mic is picking it up. But uh, in person, I can actually say it really does make a difference more so than I thought it would. Like I didn't really think ASD was that prevalent, but I guess it really is. It definitely sounds more quiet with it off, which again, I personally like because I like the cabin to be a little more quiet on a car like this. And it doesn't sound as fake, I guess, but uh, totally up to you guys. If you want to turn it off, that's how you do it. Uh, overall, it does definitely make a difference. Hopefully again, you can hear it with the mic. But yeah, with that said, this video is done and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.